Good morning to all my lovely students and welcome back in your English class. I am Ruchika Thakur, your English teacher and students. Today we are going to start our new topic which is chapter number 21 of grammar book. Which one is this? Yes, absolutely right. Our chapter number 21 of grammar, punctuations. What do you mean by punctuations? While writing or reading sentences, we use some punctuation marks. For example, full stop, question answer, comma, and exclamation mark. There are so many punctuation marks. So today we will discuss about all the punctuation marks. Let's start. So students, this is your chapter number 21, punctuations. So I want to explain all the punctuation marks one by one. So you can see students, your first punctuation mark is full stop. Full stop. You can see this is the sign of full stop. It is used at the end of the sentence. Jenny is my friend. At last we have used full stop, right? So, at the end of every sentence, we always use full stop. Shelly is kind. Full stop. Jimmy was playing chess. Full stop. So, here you can see how at the end of every sentence, we have used full stop. Our next punctuation mark is question mark. A question mark is used at the end of interrogative sentence. An interrogative sentence, right? For example, wherever we have used question words and question is asked from you or anyone is called interrogative sentence. How are you? So, at the end of the question, we have used question mark. Where are you going? We have used question mark. So, with interrogative sentences, at the end of interrogative sentences, we always use Question mark. This is a sign of question mark. Our third and next punctuation mark is comma. Where we use comma? A comma is used to take a short pause. Where we want to stop for a second, for a while, right? We want to take a short pause in the middle of the sentence. For example, Rohan, please. Get me some sugar. So, after taking a name of the person, we have uh, we have already taken a short pause here. So, we will put comma here. Uh, we Sometimes, we also use comma whenever uh, so many things of the same kind are given in one sentence only. For example, here so many fruits are there mentioned in this sentence. So, I like oranges, comma, apples comma berries right so this is the sign of comma you can see here right after that our next punctuation mark is exclamation mark it is used after interjections we have done already interjections interjections topic right words which shows the sudden feeling of our heart right these words are called interjections. So, after interjection, uh, we use um, exclamatory, after exclamatory sentence also we use exclamation mark. I want to give example, wow, what a view. So, wow is interjection. After interjection, we have used exclamatory sign. And in second sentence, what a lovely morning. We have not used any interjection, but... The sentence is exclamatory. The kind of the sentence is exclamatory sentence. So, at the end of exclamatory sentence also we will use exclamation mark. Our next punctuation sign is apostrophe sign. An apostrophe is used to shorten two words and to mark position. What do you mean by shorten two words? Shorten two words means short forms. I am. Here, I am. I have shortened two words, I am. So, I have used apostrophe sign. 
This is Pia's doll. This is Pia's doll. Here, whose doll? Pia's doll. So, here we have used position. It shows position. You can see here the words we use apostrophe to mark position. So, here position is there. Whose belonging? Here belongingness is there showing belongingness. Pia's doll. Whose doll? Pia's doll. So, we have used apostrophe sign. This is the apostrophe sign here. Right? Our next and last Sorry, our next kind is colon. You can see here colon, two dots are there. It is used to mark off a direct quotation. When exact words of the speaker are given. So, before the exact words, we always use colon. Okay. And to introduce a topic. Whenever we introduce any topic, then also we use colon. Right. Our next punctuation mark is semicolon and this is the sign of semicolon dot and comma under the dot. It's used to separate a series of clauses like she played semicolon, she ate semicolon, she slept. So here you can see a series of clauses is given. Short short phrases are there. Okay, not a complete sentence is there. So, after uh, using a series of uh, clauses are there and in between we have used semicolon. And this is a sign of semicolon. Okay. Now, at last, I want to explain you all where to use capital letters. Capital letters are also punctuation mark. Capital letter is used. To begin a sentence, whenever we start any sentence, first letter always capital. To write proper nouns, name of special specific person is mentioned, then it's called proper noun. For example, Taj Mahal, proper noun. Ruchika Thakur, proper noun. Whenever name of person, specific name of person, place, thing or animal is given, then it is called proper noun. Whenever you will mention in between in the sentence proper noun, you will use capital letter. To write I, pronoun I, we never use small letter for pronoun I. And God, whenever we use God word in between the sentence or paragraph, we always write down capital letter. To write months and days name, January, February and uh, Monday, Sunday, whatever, uh, all the month's name and day's name, always capital letter. To write towns, country, city, continent, river, mountain, island, building, language. Keep in mind, students, language also. I like English subject. So, English, E, you will write capital letter. Newspaper's name also, okay? So, here, I hope you all know where to use capital letters, semicolon, colon and rest of all other punctuation marks, apostrophe sign, exclamation mark, comma, question mark and full stop. I hope you understood all these signs. Now, we will proceed with our exercise part. See students, A part, Megha wants to go to Japan and friends. You have to use a uh, capital letter wherever necessary. So you can see Megha M wants to go to Japan, J capital and friends, F capital, proper nouns. First letter always capital. This place is very good. This T capital, first letter, rest all. There is no need to write down capital letter. First letter I. Only it is not. We have not written I capital because it's first letter. Otherwise also pronoun I always capital. I know the answer. I capital. My favorite book. M capital. Favorite book is Alice in Wonderland. Alice proper noun name of the girl. And Wonderland place. So, W capital. She, S capital. She can speak Korean. K capital because language. Chinese, C capital. 
Here also you will use punctuation marks and question mark and full stop according to sentence. This you will do try by yourself also students. Now your C part is put a full stop or a question mark at the end of each sentence. How is your mother now? It's a question so put question mark. Who is that lady wearing a red dress? Question mark. She doesn't like spinach. Full stop. Simple sentence. The doctor cancelled the appointment. Simple sentence. So put full stop. Do you like chocolates? It's a question. So you will put question mark. Okay. Now here use commas in between the sentence. You have to use commas. Right. So. So students, here you can see you have to use commas in between the sentence where necessary. Apples, comma, we will use comma here. Apples, comma, mangoes, oranges. Apples, mangoes, oranges and grapes. Where and will come, you will not put comma. Okay. And grapes are my favorite fruits. Second sentence, I met her on March 6, 2014. So, after month and date, you always put comma. Okay. Third sentence, Susan, let's go out for dinner. Susan, after Susan's name, you have to use comma here. Okay. She said, pick up the class. So, she said, we will take pause here. So, we will use comma. Okay, there was a conference in Shimla, Himachal Pradesh. So, after Shimla, we will use comma. We will, we will take a little pause here. Okay, now E part plays apostrophes in the following contractions. Contractions are given short forms, right? I am, I am, she is, she is hills it's they have they we want can't so these are apostrophe you have used here apostrophe sign okay to write down contractions or short forms now students i want that f and g part you will do as a homework and revise all the punctuation marks i have explained to all of you full stop question mark comma exclamation sign apostrophe colon and semicolon and use of capital letters so revise all these definitions of punctuation marks take care students bye